Hey guys, Jason back for another statue review. Today I'm reviewing the Legacy Replica 1 4th scale uh, Daredevil by Iron Studios. And uh, just a little bit of history uh, on me and Daredevil. Um, I was always a DC guy growing up, more or less. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I, I liked Marvel and DC, but the Marvel comics that I was into were more uh, of the darker uh, Marvel stories. I liked D DC. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I like DC because of the darker tones of their uh, stories, and um, Marvel always rang a little too um, uh, too too maybe um, kitty for me. Uh, I know that's a broad uh, statement, and I know that's not the case with all Marvel stories, but that's just that was my impression when I was growing up. Uh, so I did like X Men because of the X Men cartoon. Um, I did like Spider Man uh, because I got into Spider Man uh, around the time that uh, Todd McFarlane was drawing Spider Man. So uh, uh, the Venom uh, and especially the Carnage stories were got quite dark. So I kind of dug that. Uh, but generally speaking, I was more to DC. But uh, the the Marvel comics that I did pick up were Punisher, of course, Dark Stories, uh, and um, uh, uh, the GI Joe comics actually. And then I really got into Daredevil as well because he kind of had a little bit more of a uh, uh, kind of a grimy street level uh, uh, crime vibe to a lot of his stories. So um, I got this statue in uh, about a month and a bit ago, but I just haven't had a chance to review him until now. So I am looking forward to doing that now. Okay, so just first of all, <laughs> my cat's always wanting to be in these videos. Such an attention whore, boo. Okay, so um, I will give you a quick little look at him here, but I won't give you my overall impressions until I've done the review him, uh, of, of him uh, in depth. So first of all, this is something that I always appreciate that people do when I'm watching videos. So I just want to show you his size here. Okay, that looks about right. So he's a he's a about 24 inches, maybe a tiny bit under. That's about level, yeah, about 24 inches uh, uh, high. Uh, width, it's a bit hard to tell because this this piece stands out a little bit, the uh, the, the piece of his uh, staff or his, um, I'm not sure what you, what you call those things, but he looks like he's a, ra a little under 16 inches wide. And then depth, li I don't know about 14 it looks like okay so that's his size now let's get into the details first of all let's go straight to his portrait and i really like this portrait um i've seen other daredevil pieces uh, both in person and uh, in reviews and um yeah some of the portraits are good some of them aren't i just think that this one is really well detailed and it captures his uh you know the daredevil that i knew the the detailing in the skin and like just the 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 slight hint of stubble without it being overboard um the color the pink in his lips and the slight variations in skin tones um on his face i think are really well done you know i'm just going to say this right now um i am so impressed with iron studios and their level of detail uh just in general on this piece uh, and I was kind of thinking, you know, my overall impression after kind of giving him a once over before I did this review was, wow, I just find that their, their, their statues, especially when I'm looking at this, are just a little bit more refined, uh, if, that's, if that's how I can describe it, compared to uh, something like a sideshow piece. And even honestly, even compared to a Prime 1 piece um, uh, and XM. Uh, they do fantastic pieces, but when you go when you go really close up and you look at things like maybe maybe it's not a fair comparison, but like if you look at this little ridge along his head, boo, you got to be quiet, buddy. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Can you? Okay, just lie down and be quiet. Okay, so <laughs> yo, you're being distracting. Beat it. Get off. Get off the table, please. Okay, either get off or shut up. Um, so if I look at the detail, like really, look at look at how refined that uh, that line work is along, like the sculpt work along his head there. Uh, 
obviously the um, the texture in in the helmet or in the headpiece is fantastic but it's it's in little little details I just find everything all the all the small little details super super refined and when I was looking at this earlier I thought Oh, it's interesting. I wonder why I get have that impression that all the all the small little details are just so so well refined. And then I remember that the, uh, a lot of what these guys do are those one tenth pieces, and there's such detail in those one tenth pieces. So they they're used to they're used to they're used to getting in there and doing extremely high levels of detail in small little areas. And it, I think, in my opinion, it really stands out in these bigger pieces that they do as well you see the refinement you see that the attention to detail in, in little little things like the, the the pouch here and and the belt but anyway so let's go back up to his face and just take a look at it again uh the eyes are a glossy red that make them pop out from the rest of the face really nice i think the, the expression in his brow is well done the horns um, again, they you know they're they're just really nicely sculpted and pop out um, from the rest of the uh, the headpiece. Uh, now, one thing I did notice there is a bit of a gap here, so this whole piece does come off. And I tried to move it around. I thought maybe I just didn't have it properly, but there's a bit of movement there, and and that's just I don't know if it's just my version or it's, or it's the sculpt, uh, um, but. There's definitely a gap. Now, do you notice it? No, because if you look along here, there's a ridge. And that ridge, basically, if you're looking from straight on, hides that gap almost completely, because there's no gap here. There's no gap there at all, but it looks like there is because of that ridge. So where there actually is a gap here, it's really well hidden. You don't notice it. It's a bit annoying, but but it's not a big deal. So as you go down, as you can see, there's a, there's a different color in his uh, shoulder pads. Uh, again, it looks like more of a textured leather, and then there's uh, the same sort of leathery look as as his neck and headpiece into here, but it's smooth, and then a different texture on his chest, where his daredevil symbol is, um, but it's a bit of a different color, and the the subtleties in the the shading, uh, where the sort of um, the creases in his outfit are 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 done really well. Uh, same with as you get into his abs, just really fantastic paint, really highly detailed. Same as you go into here, and and again now there's a different sort of uh, leathery, um, breathable mesh under his armpits here. And I think this is important. And and most most Daredevil statues that that I've seen now do do this. They kind of break up his outfit because I mean in the, in the comics especially in the earlier comics he was just all red um, and even before that I, I think he was a different color maybe black but um, in the comics that I read he was just all red and in a statue that would get boring if you didn't break it up with with sort of different pieces and components to his to his outfit so you know that's a bit of dust here but uh, here on his legs you have the smooth the smooth leathery look let me see if I can get that in focus. But then again, that sort of rougher, it looks like it's a little bit more high, uh, heavier duty leather look along the sides of his legs. And then as you get into the boots, it almost looks like uh, another, another material again, completely. Very cool. And then the sort of tabby boot toes. Again, like look at the level of detail in the stitching of those boots. Really, really nice. I can't put my finger on what it is, but I just feel like there's a level of refine refinement here that you don't see in most other statue companies. Um, and I don't, I don't know exactly what it is because I have looked closely at some Prime 1 pieces. You know, I remember looking pretty, pretty close at the uh, Bermejo Joker and there are some great levels of detail, but there's a sharpness to this. There's a sharpness to all the pieces that just looks a little bit more refined to me. I'm not saying it's better, but it's sharper and and it's it's almost just looks like it's um uh, like a higher resolution if I if if that makes sense. So here's his uh here's his baton holster. Uh some people have complained that it's on the wrong leg. 
man, I don't remember what leg it's supposed to be on and who's to say he can't switch legs. So that doesn't bother me one bit. Really nice, the straps look good. These straps look really authentic with these sort of uh, clips. He's got some other, oh, get his hand out of the way there. He's got some other pouches on his belts like every superhero needs. And then getting down into his legs, more of what we saw on the other one, on the other leg. You know, mixes of this kind of more clear leathery red leather and, uh, and the more uh, rugged one. I think it's I think it's done really really well. So now let's get into uh, his base, and we'll start in the front here at this uh, at this angel. And again, I find the level of refinement in in the in the details exceptional. There are edges and little small pieces here that um, are just. Man, I, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but just look really refined. There's some nice color variation in the stonework here uh, from the angel. It's, it's not showing in the camera, but she's a little bit yellower than she shows in the camera here. Uh, but then as you go down here, uh, it's certainly not as yellow and more of a grayer uh, uh, um, type of stone. Very nice. Really nice detail in these pieces. There's variation within the different uh, stones as well. There's some some uh, blues and, and yellows and grays. And I'm sure you can see here that this one has a little bit more of a yellow look. And then as you get into the cherubs, they sort of share that same color that the, uh, that the angel in the front have. Really nice detail to them. Uh, all the way down into the base, the detail, you know, the sort of cracked stonework is, uh, is awesome. Under here, oh, you want water, hey? Okay, I'll give you a bit of water. Maybe that'll shut them up. The detail down there, as you can see, again, just really, really refined. I like how it looks like there's a little little chunks of uh, stone cracking off of these cherubs. And then, as you get up into this into this back drop or back piece. This is where I think um, the special, that's, this is where I think that, that this statue sort of stands out as being special, is this um, cathedral, it looks like it's kind of a broken piece of a stained glass window from a cathedral. Um, obviously relevant to Daredevil as he is a, a, a Catholic uh, character in the stories and, and always his faith kind of uh, comes into play in, in a lot of the themes of, of Daredevil stories because he struggles between being a, a vigilante and sort of uh, adhering to his uh, his Catholic faith and, and sort of the, uh, the, um, the more gentle messages of the Bible, I guess is the way to describe it. But this is beautiful and it really, really frames him nicely. Um, you know, it's a little bit offset when you're looking straight on so you can see it in the background. Um, if you, if you backlight it, which I'll kind of give the impression of by turning around here so the windows are in the back, it really has a nice glow to it. Like look at the levels of detail here. Nice cracks in the stone. Very nice. Even the floor just looks really good. You can see the, the uh, you know, it's 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 nothing it's nothing special in terms of, of what it is, but it's just it looks like broken up stone floor. I think it's really done well. So because because I feel like the, uh, the the level of detail and attention to detail is so great, I really had to look closely for flaws, and I did find some. But again, I mean, you really have to look closely. As you can see here, there's a little bit of missing paint where his boot meets his leg. Now, if you look from the side, you can kind of see it, but you would never notice it. I mean, no one's looking that closely at him, but it's there. 
Uh, where was the other little thing I saw? I think on the boot here, there's just a bit of a flaw there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think that looks like it's, it's not quite intentional. But again, I mean, for me to have to look closely for, for flaws just goes to, uh, you know, it's a testament to how well made this statue is uh, from paint and sculpt uh, uh, just to general, uh, uh, you know, quality of, of the statue. So that's it. My final impressions are, and I haven't really spoke about this, but I like this pose. You know, like I've said, I've seen a lot of other uh, uh, Daredevil uh, statues and what always turned me off was the pose. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think off the top of my head of some of them. I know the XM uh, one kind of has him sliding down a, 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 a bit of a, a, a slope. Not bad, but I like this. I like him with the sort of uh, cathedral in the background, sort of reaching over menacingly, showing his flexibility, showing his, his athleticism uh, with, his, um, with his baton kind of behind him ready for action but not 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 in action and it, you know it's i guess the best way to describe it is it's it's somewhere between a um a, a museum pose and an action pose it's it's like potential energy he's he's ready to strike and i think that that's awesome and perfect for the character uh i'm really happy with this i will likely never get rid of this this will probably be my daredevil uh uh for the rest of my statue uh, collecting collecting statue collecting time um so that's it guys hope you enjoyed and uh, if you're considering picking this piece up i hope that this helped with your decision and um that's all i apologize for all the cat meowing this little guy oh he has no food no wonder oh sorry buddy okay i'll get you some in a second no wonder he's been complaining but anyways uh sorry about that guys sometimes uh animals just uh, stick themselves into your life at inopportune moments. So what can you do? Okay, till next time, have a good one. Later.